please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Today we're working on this 2016 Renault Zoe which is suffering from the very common issue of no heat which for this time of year isn't great. Added to that it's also lost its air conditioning so it's definitely in need of a garage repair. So we're going to show you just what's wrong and how easy it can be to fix. Bit of a Zoe day today there, Matt. So yes, Pete, Pete's, over, Pete's over there fixing that uh, charging issue. Uh, what have we got here? So uh, this Zoe has a uh, heat pump fault. So it's the air conditioning compressor. Uh, does the heating as well. Yeah. So we've got to replace that component. Um, so initially take the gas out of the circuit so that we can work on it. Then isolate the high voltage, front bumper off, get to the air con compressor. Okay. So what are the symptoms here then? What's what, what what's it coming for? So although the uh, 22 kilowatt hour Zoe has pretty poor heating from day one, um, this one doesn't have any heating at all, which this time of year is very difficult because we're in December. So. Right, de definitely. Okay, so plan of action. Once the gas has been recovered by yep. the machine, then uh, we can safely work on the aircon equipment. Uh, we need to power down the the 12 volt and uh, take the service disconnect out so the high voltage is uh, safe to work on and front bumper off so that we can access the front bumper con con is that a nightmare no no excellent no. okay everything's easy yep <laughs> that looks quite cheeky to get into that map yeah it's just a bit awkward but nothing's impossible there we go give it a tug there mate that was nice and easy, Matt. Oh, the bumpers are quite easy to get off, James, yeah. Not too bad at all. Just got to get to this wiring down the corner and then uh, we can put it on the floor. It's done a very good job there, Matthew. Oh, that's very kind of you. We do every job as excellently well around here. All right, Matt, so this is compressor off. Yeah, compressor off, we wanted to have a look at what's going on in there. We know we can't get any of the internal components, uh, so that's why we've replaced the whole unit, get the customer back on the road. Yeah. Um, but we always like to make sure that we confirm our diagnosis. So I've taken the cover off the front there, and as you can see, the internals of the compressor have all broken up on the drive section. So uh, you can't get any of that. It's all just aluminium, it's chewed itself to death. So uh, There's another bit over on the floor over there, which I've lost. Right, yeah. They're taking a battery out of the drive, but... Um, yeah, unfortunately, if I could find some way of uh, fixing these, I'd rebuild them, but um, yeah. can't get any of the internals. Yeah, oh dear. I think now we'll just get the new compressor on, now we've confirmed our diagnosis, and uh, yeah, get it customer back on the road. And this is the new compressor that's going to go on. These are over £400 from Renault, and that's 400 plus the VAT, so not a cheap component but it's better to get a brand new one and then you know the origins and you're, you've obviously got the warranty with it, so. Well, where are we at now then, Max? I can see right. a couple of pipes on here. Looks like you're gassing the aircon. Yeah, compressor's back on. Um, there's a protection unit over the high voltage wall wiring. That's back on, little cover. Um, the pipes works back on. So I'm just going through the regassing process so that I can keep an eye on it. Um, with the bumper off, but okay. uh, yeah, we've got a few other bits of trims to go back on and then we'll be testing. Excellent. So that's bumper going back on. Yeah. I mean, that's that's got to be 45 minutes, something like that, Pete, um, Matt? Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. So then you've got the testing and making sure everything's good yeah. and secure afterwards, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad job to do at all. Point to note that's very important is the Zoe needs exactly the correct amount of gas. Too little or too much and it will underperform. Also, this work must be carried out by qualified professionals. All right, folks, that's it all back together. Just testing it out now. I'll come around to Matt. So, yep, what are you saying? Nice and warm? Yeah, yeah, as warm as a, a Zoe of this age gets. 16 degrees though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're lucky. So, ah, yeah, brilliant. Uh, she's got more chance of defrosting it on a winter's day than she had before. So yeah, brilliant. I'm happy with that as a completed repair. Excellent. Nice job. Many people believe that EVs just aren't repairable, and that just isn't the case. In fact, the Zoe, despite many people's opinions, 
It's quite easy to work on in most cases, parts readily available and they're a nice cheap EV to buy. So next time you're looking for a new car, this is one that is well worth considering.